So x i is 3.10 sum 1 fourth subdivision. Draw the graph of 3x plus 2y is equal to 40. So this is also a linear equation in two variables, right? We have two variables x and y. But first thing what we have to do, you have to convert this in y is equal to mx plus c form. Okay, the general form of linear equation. So we have to, what is the form? y is equal to mx plus c, we have to convert, okay, in this form. So how it will be? This left hand side we should want only y, we should keep only y, okay. So I am keeping y in this equation, 2y here is equal to 14, I am transposing this 3x on the right side. So what will happen? 14 minus 3x, okay. Now this uh, y, I want only y here, right. This 2 will go whole as the denominator, right. It is already in product. So it will go, when you transpose to the right hand side, it will go as a denominator, as a division part. y is equal to 14 minus 3x, the whole divided by 2. Yes, children. Next, what we have to do is, so it is common, right. This denominator is common in both the terms on the numerator. So I am splitting the a terms like this 14 by 2 minus 3x by 2 yes now how it will change what is 14 by 2 must 7 right 7 minus 3x by 2 so just look at the form mx plus c so we will what we will uh, transpose this 3 minus 3x first okay so y is equal to Transpose in the sense the same uh, RHS only, okay. So the sign won't change, no. I am just interchanging the terms because first term is X, no, here. So minus 3 by 2 of X, yes, plus 7, okay. The same thing only, I am exchanging minus, minus, no, minus 3X by 2, minus 3 by 2 of X. Okay, that is multiply into x only. Okay, same. It, it doesn't change the value. Okay, plus 7. 7 is positive, right? So, now now we can compare both. Okay, it is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. The only thing is what? This uh, here negative sign is coming. Okay, that's no problem. Okay. Okay, so we have this equation. Now, how to select the x values? See here. To get the y values. Okay, right? So, x is... Uh, Tabular column, you can uh, write x and y. Now, I told you already in the previous sum. So, here, what is the denominator? 2. So, we can select multiples of what? Multiples of 2 itself. So, first it starts from negative values. Only 5 values required. Okay. So, when x is equal to minus 4, what will happen to this equation? y is equal to, okay, minus 3 by 2. Okay, into what? Into, x means what? Into, into, x is what? What we selected? Minus 4 plus 7. Okay, now we can cancel this 2 and minus 4 because this is in the denominator, this is in the numerator, we can cancel, okay? Because they are the product only. So, here when you cancel, 2, 2s are 4. So, don't forget this minus. This is minus 3 into minus 2 plus 7. Okay. Minus 3 into minus 2 is what? Plus 6. Plus 6 plus 7. The answer is 13. 6 plus 7, 13. Next, I am going to select x is equal to minus 2. Okay. My x is equal to minus 2 means what will happen? y is equal to minus 3 by 2 into minus 2 plus 7. Now, this 2, 2 will get cancelled here. 1 will come. So, minus 3 into minus 1 plus 7. Calculation part, you have to be very careful. So, minus 3 into minus 1 is what? Plus 3 plus 7. That is equal to 10. Next, x is equal to 0. Okay. That means y is equal to minus 3 by 2 into 0 plus 7. So, this whole term becomes 0. Minus 0 is nothing. 0 only, okay. Don't take the sign, okay. Minus 0 is also 0 has no sign, okay. You can leave it off. The answer will be 7. Next, x is equal to 2. I am substituting. So, that means y is equal to minus 3 by 2 into 2 plus 7. 
So what will happen? This 2 will get cancelled. Minus 3 plus 7. What will happen? This is like 7 minus 3. That is 4. Next to only one value. Last value. X is equal to 4 means Y is equal to minus 3 by 2 into 4. We can cancel plus 7. So 2 twos are 4. What will happen? Minus 3 into 2. Minus 6 plus 7. That is 1. So we can start writing the values for x and y in the tabla column when x is minus 4 what is the y value 13 when x is minus 2 what is the y value 10 when x is 0 what is the y value 7 when x is 2 y value is 4 when x is 4 y value is 1 okay so neatly you can put the tabla column draw it and now we can go to the graph Mark x-axis and y-axis neatly. Look at the points. We have y value 13. Okay, here no problem. Here we have, we can mark it. Okay, this is 13 only, right? The top one. So, no no problem. So, we can take x-axis. How will you write the scale? X-axis, scale. What you have taken here? 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit, right? So, scale x-axis, 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. Y-axis also same. Y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. Now we are going to mark the points. Okay. Mark all the xx dash y y dash ma that carries marks. Minus 4, 13. X value is minus 4 means go. Go here. Minus 4. 13 is top here. Minus 4, 13. Here only minus 4, minus 4, 13. I marked it. Okay. Next. Minus 2 comma 10. Minus 2 is where? Minus. Minus 2. 10 is what? Y value is 10. So here. Minus 2 comma 10. So this is minus 2 comma 10. Next value is 0 comma 7. 0 comma 7 is what? 0 is here. No x value. Only y value. So 0 comma 7 is this one. Next. 2 comma 4. 2 comma. 2 comma 4 is here. 2 comma 4. So this is 2 comma 4. Next 4 comma 1. Okay. 4 comma 4 is here. 4 comma 1 is here. So 4 comma 1. Okay. Now we plotted all the points. So we are going to join it. You can clearly see when you join all the points you are going to get a straight line. Okay. So join exactly. Okay. It's a line. So you can extend also. You have to Okay, you have to write what the equation. What is the equation? Original equation itself you can write. 3x plus 2y is equal to 14. Okay, so this is a graph of a linear equation. 3x plus 2y is equal to 14 in two variables. So, I will you write the next at last below the table. The given equation. The given equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 14. Represents represents a straight line at last you have to write this as a solution okay